Hello? Uh huh? Hello? Hello? Wait, zero spotted him. Zero spotted him. All right. Nah, you weren't going to get away with that. You weren't going to get away with that. Oh, no. Are you going to get away with that, G Fan? Hello, guys. Welcome to Shifan PUBG Mobile. In today's how to video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks improving your close range fight which most of the pro players don't want you to know. Because there are too many things I need to tell you guys, so I'm going to break them down into several episodes. If this video can get over 10,000 likes, I will release another episode. So please make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and turn the notification on so that you will not miss any videos I post in the future. Firstly, one of the factors to win a close range fight is to choose the right weapon. I recommend you guys use either Uzi or M7 with a laser grip. Uzi has a very fast firing rate, which can burst one enemy down quickly. M7 with a laser grip deals higher damage and can manage with one versus multiple enemies situation. Also, both weapons have really low bullet spread, which allow players to have higher head fire accuracy. Once we have the right weapon, let's go over three major parts of close quarters fight. The very first one is landing the headshots. The second one is the accuracy of your head fire. And the third one is your movement. I will teach you guys how you can master those skills and why they are very important. When we are engaging a close range fight with another enemy, assuming other conditions are the same, Whoever can land the headshots faster basically decides who will be the person alive. The faster landing the headshots, the more damage you will deal, the less damage you will take, the greater chance you can go against multiple enemies all at once. If you are a beginner and a new to PUBG Mobile, I encourage you go to training room. Find this target. As you can see, the sender is at the head level of our character. Practice your head fire aim on it. Remember to always aim at the head level, not below it or above it. Same thing applied to this wall. Move your character around and hit fire at the head level. Practice it around 10 minutes per day. It should be enough to correct your normal aim position, as most of players tend to aim lower than the head level. Next step is that I need you guys to play domination mode and try to kill 100 enemies with headshots per day. You can increase the amount if you really want to push your limits and improve your hipfire aiming. For me as a competitive player, I kill 500 enemies with headshots per day as practice. Lastly, go enjoy and play classics. That's when you can put your headshot skills into use. The second part I'm going to talk about is the accuracy of head fire. Having a suitable third person no scope ATS sensitivity can definitely help with that. Lots of viewers were commenting how good they achieved after watching my 8 million views sensitivity video. If you have seen it, you should have a general idea about how to get the best sensitivity for yourself. And I'm working on a new sensitivity video to further help you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notification on. Basically, the idea is that you need to have the lowest possible third-person no-scope ADS sensitivity. The lower the sensitivity, the higher heavy fire accuracy you can get. But you don't want to adjust it too low so that you cannot turn your character 180 while head firing. Once you get the suitable sensitivity for yourself, head into training room. Take your favorite close range gun and stand among those moving targets and practice like this. One of the difficulties of head fire is that when enemies got too close to you, they appear to move quickly and sometimes go around to your back, which makes it harder to track them 
This practice can help you locate and aim enemies faster and more accurate. Another difficulty is that we lose track of our aim in close quarter combat. In TPP mode, when you aim and open your scope, you can notice that the position of aim is a little bit off. You can open your setting and move one of the function button to the bottom left of your aim. By doing this way, you can track your aim point better than before and improve your headshots rate as well. Finally, let's talk about movement. There are so many things I can teach you guys in this section, but for this video, we will be focusing on the basic movement called jiggling. Jiggling means that you move your character left and right while you hit fire. The benefit of doing that is that you can dodge your enemy's bullets. How do we achieve that? Let's watch my hand cam now. One of the common mistakes about jiggling is that players moving their joystick too quick. It may appear that you are jiggling really fast like a god. However, you will look like this to your enemies. Which cannot make you dodge bullets efficiently. The correct way of doing jiggling is that you move your joystick left and right in normal speed. So it looks like this in your enemy's point of view which can make them potato on you hard. Mastering jiggling movement is not hard, but the hard part is that maintaining your aim on your enemies while jiggling. Pay attention to my both thumbs here. As you guys can see, my left thumb moves quicker than my right thumb. Your situation may vary because we have different sensitivity and habits, but my point is that your both thumb will move in different speeds when you are doing jiggling against the enemies in close quarter combat. Now, put your phone aside, and then try to do this. If you have trouble doing this, practice it until you can. I will have it as a finger challenge and a giveaway for you guys. So we have a rule number one. Record a video when you are trying to do this. Make a post and add me on my Twitter or Instagram account. Rule number two. You have to follow both my Twitter and the Instagram account to enter the giveaway. I will pick one of the lucky winners from you guys and give away 4000 UC. The result will be posting on my socials as well. Once you are able to control your two thumbs moving with a different speed, you will notice a huge improvement in your aim while you are jiggling. You can also practice with those moving targets too. Try your best to lock aim on the target while jiggling. So here are the three basics of winning a close quarter fight and improve yourself in PUBG Mobile. More advanced tips will come in my future videos. If you guys like my content, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. As always, see you guys in the next video. Bye.
Don't, don't, don't.